Hey folks, Dan here, Lead with Nature. It's summer. Happy summer to you. I am on a small nondescript pond, kind of a suburban town, and there are a lot of insects. It's a sunny day, so we have a lot of insect-eating birds on this pond. Hopefully in a minute you're going to hear one of my favorites, Tyrannus tyrannus, the eastern kingbird. So kingbird looks like this. It's a flycatcher, right? It's got this dark top, gray body, and then just at the tip of the tail, band of white. It sits very upright and makes a call that sounds like a Oh, there you go. Right there. Oh, I just made a frog call. Kingbirds are notorious. That's the name Tyrannus Tyrannus for being very aggressive and very protective of their territories. They're known to attack much larger birds, um, even hawks, crows, you name it. They seem to have no fear. Um, they're fierce defenders of their territory, their nests, their families. They're pretty impressive. Kingbirds are in the flycatcher group, so they're related to things like um, Phoebes and Peewees and all those other bug-eating uh, flycatchers. So. These guys tend to be seen on the edge of water quite a bit, sometimes the edge of wet fields and meadows, but they love these little pondy spots and they'll be perched up high. Really buzzy kind of whistle. The, uh, the noun, the plural noun for kingfishers, a tyranny of kingfishers. Um, and this is a migratory bird, so this bird spends most of its time way down south on this continent and then comes back here for the feast of insects in the summertime. So, I hope you get out this time of year. Slow down by a bit of water, have a seat, maybe throw in a line or get in a boat or just kind of sit and chill and listen. And you may see a dark bird with a white band on its tail going uh, making a racket. That's a king bird. It's probably chasing someone, causing trouble. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed learning a bird. Peace.